Man, the Baltimore Ravens got great news yesterday. They got a huge relief yesterday. And the way that they initially shared the news, they trolled a lot of us. Watch this. They're doing it. Yeah, they're doing it. They're doing it. Hey, bro. Yeah, big homie. I'm so I'm gonna go rock this here out with your Sunday. You know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna rock out. And y'all know exactly what y'all were doing with that. But hey, I, I respect it and I actually admire it a bit because y'all were letting us all know before it was official that Roquan Smith was back. Because the previous day we had a little scare, and the way that John Harbaugh talked, well, really didn't talk about it, it did not help at all. Uh, because Roquan Smith had missed. Wednesday's practice with a shoulder injury so it was like oh boy where did this come from but he was back out there uh, on Thursday and then today even though today is more of a walkthrough uh, he was a participant as well so having Roquan Smith back and I know like I, while I do feel that and I agree because I've seen some people put it too that the Ravens could still get the job done against the Cardinals even without Roquan Smith I'm like me no no, I, I want everybody who can play out there. I do not want it to be like, no, no, oh, no. You, you sit out this game. You, no. Y'all know, like, Ravens like doing this stuff, man. You, like, absolutely destroy somebody who everybody, th a lot of people thought was going to whoop y'all, was going to beat y'all, was going to come in m and Bank Stadium and cash out. But y'all took care of business in a major way, which was great. But you know how Baltimore Ravens can be in with an opponent that everybody like, oh, they're going to whoop, they're going to take care of business, oh, they're going to destroy these guys. Ravens like doing this thing where they play down to competition. And this has been an issue for a long time. I wish they would fix it. I wish something would give to where they would just stop doing that. And not that NFL teams are not comp competitive and not competition because they're in the NFL too. But still, if you know a team is bad, take care of your business, man. So hopefully the Baltimore Ravens do that. But I, I did not want to be like, all right, all right, Roquan Smith, you sit out this game. We handle it. No, Roquan Smith, you if you're good to play, you go ahead and play. So having Roquan Smith back, oh, that just makes life as a Ravens fan so much better, man. Because something that we've talked about, you know Roquan Smith is the $100 million linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. And he has been earning every single dollar in that contract this year. Every single one. Literally every single game, he makes a great play. Every single game. And he, he the, just the consistency of his play has been amazing. He has made such a big positive difference on this Baltimore Ravens football team. So with him returning to practice, him being slated to play against the Cardinals and Hollywood. Hey, Hollywood. Hey, shout out to my guy, Hollywood. But anyway, with him being slated to play against the Cardinals, that's a beautiful thing. Because, again, I was a little worried at first. I was worried. Because, again, what, what really had me what was John Hart. The way that he did it, I said, Harbaugh, why are you doing this, man? And I, I still don't agree with how he did it. Well, oh, well, he's not out here. I just wait for the injury report. No, hey, that's, that's your $100 million player. Speak up on him, Harbs. But, again, that's just my opinion. But some other news that we got yesterday, which we touched briefly on, uh, was Keaton Mitchell. And that's a big relief as well because me – I hadn't expected Keaton Mitchell to practice at all this week. I know they said he was dealing with the hamstring injuries, and we know, oh my goodness, we know. If you've been a football fan for just even two years or more than two years, you know with hamstring, or even if you're a person and you had a hamstring injury, hamstring injuries are annoying, they are tricky, and you just never know what you're going to get out of them. Uh, sometimes the recovery can be like that. Other times the recovery can be like, that and that but with Keaton Mitchell Keaton Mitchell has shown in the injuries that he's sustained thus far uh he has an extremely quick recovery time um and this injury is no different because while Keaton Mitchell he didn't play he only played a couple of snaps in the game against the Lions uh and then he was out for the rest of it he was limited in practice yesterday um, and it said he practiced again today. We haven't got the official uh, status of his practice yet, but he did practice. So that's a beautiful sign N just for now and for next week and really just for the future. Because with Keaton Mitchell practicing, even with it being on a limited basis, that bodes well for upcoming weeks when Keaton Mitchell could be used now. We'll see what even happens with this whole running back situation with all these rumors and whatnot. I'm glad a lot, a lot of these rumors will be cleared up by next week because after october 31st like the trade deadline that's it four o'clock p.m on october 31st you're either here you're either baltimore raven or you're not 
You're on your current team. So we'll see what goes down with that or what doesn't go down. I do think the Baltimore Ravens are going to definitely do something because uh, that's just what we've grown accustomed to them doing, making these moves. Uh, they made moves in the past year for guys like Marcus Peters, uh, for Yannick Ngakwe, <laughs> for uh, Calais Campbell. Well, Calais Campbell wasn't at the trade deadline. That was in the offseason, but still. Um, and obviously last year was the big one with Roquan Smith. So Ravens, they, they are biased. They're definitely biased when it comes to the trade market, and we love that about them, and that makes us excited for all of this that's going on right now. So we'll see soon, man. We'll see soon uh, what ends up happening. Now, uh, some other good news. Uh, Kevon Seymour, um, who had been out the past couple of games yesterday, uh, on Wednesday he was limited, but yesterday he practiced in full. And again, he practiced today as well. So that's a beautiful thing because Ravens could use all the depth in the secondary that they can possibly get. And the more the merrier, the more guys you got back, it's always great. But the Baltimore Ravens got another return. Another return to somebody who had been out, actually on injury reserve and all. And that was Tylen Wallace. So even more depth. Like, it's, oh, man, thinking about this, and, like, it didn't hit me till like, literally just now. Like, Ravens are getting so many people back, man. Think about that. Ravens, they, they've lost a lot of guys with injury this year. Um, some guys for the year, like J.K. Dobbins, most likely Ardarius Washington, even though they didn't officially say it. Um, Tyus Bowser, who knows what's going to happen with him. David Ajabo, we still waiting on that with him. But they've lost a lot, but they've gotten a lot of guys back. And they still getting more guys back. Like, think Ravens are getting stronger, man. They're getting stronger. Like, that's, like I could cry right now, man, because being a Ravens fan, it's tough, man. A lot of people ain't built for this. A lot, a lot of people ain't built for this. And I can see why. Like, you're dealing with injuries all the time. Uh, you deal with this this secrecy, this this non-transparency. Uh, and it's like, what is going on? But it's, it ain't for the weak. I'll tell you that much. And y'all are. And then the way that they play their games, like, they could have this game. They, they going against a really good team. They blow them out. They could go against a really bad team. They could either lose. They could play down the competition. Ravens, like, stressing you out. So being a Ravens fan, it ain't for everybody. But... It's for us. But having Tylen Wallace back, getting him back. He was a full participant uh past couple of days. So that was nice, man. The Ravens, like, there's something about Tylen Wallace, man. The Ravens really, really love and admire Tylen Wallace and they value him. Because this is two years in a row where the Baltimore Ravens, they placed him on injury reserve. And especially last year, I did not think they were gonna bring him back. Even though Harbaugh said, Oh no, we're gonna bring Tylen Wallace back. They placed him on injury reserve and brought him back. Now with injury reserve, there's only a limited amount of spots that you have with injury reserve where you can bring somebody back, which I just learned that this year. So the fact that they used injury reserve for Tylen Wallace and brought him back, they value him a lot. They really do. For him to be getting ready to be back on the active roster, they love him. And I, I appreciate that. So I'm looking forward to what Tylen Wallace has to offer. Uh, and I, I'm not expecting him to get out on the field a million times or whatnot because you got a lot in front of him like an Odell Beckham Jr. Bait. I mean, we ain't got to go through the whole depth chart. Uh, but him as a special teamer, we know that that's very, very important to the Baltimore Ravens. And there have been some times where the special team's been a little shaky, but overall it's been solid. But um. Uh, back to the injury report, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, he was limited uh, on Thursday with a uh, shoulder injury. So <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. just banged up, man. He, he, he just banged up. But again, Odell Beckham Jr., he's here for the long haul. Now, I mean, I don't mean years to come, but he's here for the later part of the season. He ain't here for the beginning part of the season. He ain't here for all the stats, the pretty numbers. And the, he's here for the, 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 the later part uh, of the season. Now, um, Adafe away. Uh, Adafi Away was added to the injury report um, on Thursday. He was limited. Uh, but then it was said today that Adafi Away, I don't believe he practiced. No, he did not practice today on Friday. Uh, both him and Marcus Williams, they were the only two Baltimore Ravens not practicing. Um, <clears throat> now, with it being a walkthrough, because, again, Friday is just walkthroughs, uh, that may be indic indicative of Odell Adafi Away's status. Uh, this upcoming week against the Cardinals, maybe he might not play. We'll see because usually uh, if you don't practice, fr even though Friday's a walkthrough, but usually if you don't practice Friday, then you don't play. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. 
Uh, with Adafi away, they have had a lot of games without him um, this season. It was nice to have him back. I mean, he came back and got a sack, forced a fumble and all that. It's like, all right, Adafi away. So hopefully he can go. But if not, it's next man up. Like, that's Baltimore Ravens, man. That that has been their theme, like, for a long time. Uh, definitely this year. Um, so shout out to him. Uh, hopefully he can be healthy, but that's that. But Marcus Williams, him being out. It's no surprise there. We didn't expect Marcus Williams to play. Uh, they said he he got he still got his arm injury, his pec injury, dealing with that, and now he got the hamstring injury too that he's dealing with. And like I said before, it's a not necessarily a bittersweet thing because there's nothing sweet about being hurt. But with Marcus Williams dealing with his hamstring injury right now, that has to heal up. But that also gives him more time completely off uh, of the football field so his pec injury can heal up too. Because yeah. Uh, me personally, I don't want to see Marcus Williams out there with one arm. I, I don't want to see that anymore. I, let let Geno Stone do his thing. A healthy Geno Stone is much better than a halfway Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams is a great player, uh, but Geno Stone is holding it down. He, he got it covered for now. And and he is also uh, going to get a nice paycheck this offseason from somebody uh, because of what's happening. So shout out to Geno Stone. Again, we got to continue to commend Geno Stone because he is taking full advantage of his opportunity. Now, an opportunity that y'all can take advantage of because I know a lot of y'all keep asking about where we get the jackets from, where the jacket come from, where, where it's at. We love the varsity jackets, and I love them too. They're clean. They're nice. They're really nice. Uh, you can go to standwithusclothing.com, the link directly to the jackets, the purple and black one. Uh, the white, red, green, and yellow one. And this black and gray one, the link to all of them is directly down below in the description. You click on that link, it'll take you right to the jackets. And you can use code engraven to get 10% off. So I'm trying to put y'all on, man. Y'all know I love y'all, and I will always love y'all, and I will always appreciate y'all. And if I have an opportunity to put y'all on, I'm going to give y'all that opportunity. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn them notifications on so you do not miss this and any other updates when it comes to our Baltimore Ravens. This and any other videos when it comes to our Baltimore Ravens. This and really anything when it comes to our Baltimore Ravens. Subscribe. Turn notifications on because I don't want y'all to miss out on anything. I love you so much. We out.